and you'll have noticed Simone's broad smile when he invited me to speak on the topic of artificial intelligence. Uh, in fact, I'm probably the prototype lawyer in the room for this guide because I'm a criminal lawyer by practice, so I'm utterly uh, distrustful of security forces and the use of artificial intelligence for that purpose. I'm of a certain age, and as people like Thierry Vickers can confirm, technologically I'm extremely challenged. So I welcome this um, guide because it does address uh, some really important points from the point of view of the smaller practitioner like myself. We have ethical concerns which must be considered and addressed in relation to how we use artificial intelligence, but we cannot be afraid of it. And we can balance the opportunities and the um, threats, and we can only do that with our eyes open, and this guide is particularly welcome for that. And it's particularly welcome because it addresses the colleagues who don't have the resources for very large IT budgets. So I would like to take this opportunity of thanking everyone involved in bringing this project to fruition. Firstly, the Commission, and I should have welcomed our guests at the beginning of this address uh, for the support and the funding and the ideas. Uh, our friends in the European Lawyers Foundation, Alonzo and Jonathan in particular. Uh, Peter Sabo is going to speak next and he will be able to say more about how successful the co cooperation and collaboration has been uh, on this project. Our own team, Britta, Christian, Ian, Hiri, Carla and Thierry, supported by Simone and Martin. So an awful lot of work has gone into this very worthwhile project. And then finally, I'm going to say what everyone in the room is thinking, it's fantastic to be back in the in-person meeting because while we did very well with the, 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 the virtual meetings over the last two years, they're inward looking by nature. So today we have the opportunity of meeting with our friends from the Commission and the Parliament and other colleagues that we haven't seen in a long time. And there is no substitute for the human input. And that's the key message of artificial intelligence. Key decisions must be made by human beings.